Hey, it's KI7 CPI, and uh, today we're looking at the Astro Spectra Radio uh, CPS, basically programming software. And this is how we add a channel. Right now we're at 209, but I'm going to add a new channel, which is technically a personality in the Motorola world. So you add conventional personality. Once you do that, you can find your... Uh, Frequencies here, receive and transmit. For that, we go down here to our list. In this case here, let me do a Mount McKinley, which is 146.76 on the receive. And we are 14616 on the transmit. And you can use PLs or DPLs in this, which you select your PL or DPL. In this case here, we're going to use 1035. So you select PL. And you can either put in the, the alpha code, or you can just do it this way and find the number you want, which will automatically change your PL code up here as you, as you type it. The other options we got here, you get receive options. You can, this is where you can do Astro Digital. Transmit is your bandwidth, deviation, and channel spacing. Talk around, and so you want to bypass the repeater. Some other options here. This is where you go for your secure options, where you secure net, stuff like that. And the phone list is what we're after next. Because we're on W9 control heads, we can actually do an unlimited phone list. Because this repeater also has some other features that you have to uh, have the DTMF to run. So, and if you don't forget to put in a scan list, uh, you won't be able to scan it. Of course, this is the rest of your astro digital stuff, but network ID codes, stuff like that. And once you get this part entered here, keep track of what personality you're on, which is 210, which means we can then go over to here. So we're going to get this beamed up to the zone channel assignment. And since Mount McKinley is the other way, I'm still putting this list together. You see I don't have a lot of them in here, but it's going to go down here by Cantwell. I'll put it right above Nanana. And right here you insert a new channel. And you find the personality, which in this case we know is number 210. Select that. And this is the older software, so it does not put in the list for you. So, we will try this. It will actually cut you off. Okay, try this again. And you only have an infinite amount of spaces, so a lot of times I'll start with a longer word, so we put them out in front of it. And it'll either say red, like that, or you have to shorten it. Start taking the E out first. You just gotta get kind of creative with some of these older radios with a lesser space. And it took that one, so anyway, that's a quick list and how, quick uh, look at how you insert these channels. But again, you have to keep track of the channel or the personality name. It's Motorola, so... And just to give you an overview of everything else, this is where you actually, the radio menu and all the different stuff you can do. This is where you astro configurations, talk group list, all this. This is where you can make your scan lists. Or you can set it up for yourself on the uh, radio so you can do it yourself. Up here, you can come in here. There's your control heads you can use. Different control head functions. This is how you lay out your buttons for your W9, whichever one you have. And uh, a lot of good stuff like that. So I hope that helps you out a little bit there. If you see anything else in here, you can also go in here to your phone number list. You can create phone lists that we've already done. So you can just select them in your radio and is good to go. This right here is all your secure net stuff. Your secure net options. <laughs> stuff like that. So, stuff you probably won't have to worry about. But, it's in there. That's how you find it. 
And that's a quick overview. Once you figure these out, you can be ready to program about anything there is, but it's a little different setup that way. I hope this helps you out. It's KI7CPI, and have a great day.